Hey there, this is Jamie Davidson with AMZ Insiders. And today I'm going to walk through how to set up an Amazon seller's account. It's uh, pretty straightforward. You need, mostly need to follow the steps. You can go to the URL services.amazon.com. And you can also Google how to set up an Amazon seller's account. But here it says start selling. You see it's $39.99 a month. And this is the professional account. You want to create your own Amazon account down below here. You're going to enter in your name, your email address, password, so set up your Amazon selling account. Have the following available, your business name and address, your mobile or telephone number, a chargeable credit card and your tax information and you can highlight over what it means so legal name so legal name is going to be if you basically have a business account you're, and it says what is a legal name if registering as an individual seller enter in your full name if registering as a business enter the business registered name and your full name you can just type in the name of your business as you want to do it for our purposes let's say uh, this is basically think about it in terms of taxes who's going to pay the taxes on the account. And so we will go ahead and add that in. J and D Enterprises LLC. And then you're going to put in the location of your address. Again, it's often maybe your home address if you're selling out of your out of your home unless you have an office address. So we'll fill this out. So choose your unique business display name. This is what is going to show on Amazon when people are looking to buy your product. So you want to choose this carefully and just choose here. It says your business display name is displayed with your Amazon listings and on your seller profile. You can change this name anytime by clicking on the account info in the seller central settings. If you're gonna sell under multiple products, you typically want to make this somewhat generic. It says ask for your URL, I need this. Okay, verification successfully completed. Professional information, so you need to enter in your credit card information. This is basically how you're gonna pay your monthly fees with your credit card information, and then you need to enter in your bank information Then you provide your tax information. So it says, who will receive income from Amazon? Is it the individual as a sole proprietor or a business? It says, for US taxpayer, are you a US person? Yes, you can do it. Either one, yes or no. For purposes, I'll set it up as an individual sole proprietor. So your SSN or your ITN in this case, or if you're filing as a business, it would be your EIN, but in this case, I'm going to do it as an individual, so I'll do my social security number. It says, do you consent to provide an electronic signature for your IRS form W-9? Yes. And then type your signature at the bottom. And that's it. And then you're going to click Submit. And it's asking a few questions about the products. You don't have to answer any of this stuff right now. Uh, you can just skip this right now. And then you're going to add a two-step verification process, which they now require for all of Amazon accounts. And I'll enter in the code they sent me. And they're asking for a second one as well too. You can get a additional account like a, a free Google Voice phone number for example. So this is almost done. Turn on two-step verification. And there you have it. You are up and running and you're ready to sell already. You can set up, we've got an account here. You go to the catalog, you can go to inventory here, 
and you can they give you all sorts of instructions how to do that but you can under your manage inventory all sorts of things you can add a product and you can go ahead and get selling so that was all it took so you can see the account was set up here you have amazon.com you can also sell on amazon canada.ca mexico is built in there and you're off and running hopefully that was helpful go ahead and get underway and get out there and start selling products